The Indians winner yesterday afternoon, but they still lose the series. And the Mud Hens continue to struggle. But I love you guys, and welcome to an all new edition of All Andy Alfred, right here on Clay Fan 2 3. I'm your host, Andrew Alfred. Gotta tell you what, the Indians are winner yesterday 10 to 8, but after having a 9 to 2 lead, they blow it. The bullpen blows it. It's still a win, but still, I mean. It shows that the bullpen is weak. Tony Zip gets his first win of the season. He proves his 1-0 one, one with a 2.72 ERA. And Clayton Richards gets the loss. He goes to 3-3 three three with a 5.42 ERA. And the save goes to Kerry Wood. His 11th save of the season. Kelly Shopik had a home run for the Tribe. His 7th of the season. And A.J. Pruszynski had a home run for the White Sox. His 10th of the season. Now tonight... The battle for Toledo, Ohio. It's the Cleveland Indians taking on the Detroit Tigers. 705 start on FSN or on ST. Edwin Jackson, 6-4 record with a 2.59 ERA, takes on Cliffley, who is 4-8 with a 3.45 ERA. Now, tomorrow is a pitching matchup since there will be no show tomorrow. It'll be Carl Pavano for the 7-7 record with a 5.36 ERA, taking on Armando Galarraga, who is 5-7 with a 5.03 ERA. And Sunday, to close the series out and to close the first half of the baseball season off, it will be Mr. Oka with an 0-2 record with a 5.65 ERA, taking on the ace, Justin Verlander, 9-4 with a 3.59 ERA. It's going to be a good pitching matchup on Sunday. It's going to be an excellent pitching matchup tonight. So, if you have something to do, watch that game. That's a really good game. Other scores in the major leagues last night. Cincinnati a loser over Philadelphia, 6-9. Kansas City a winner over Boston, 8-6. In game one of the doubleheader between Houston and Washington, Houston getting the loss, 11-10. And the amazing thing was that they played, they acted for the first game that Washington was the home team. So, and they were playing in Houston, so it was pretty it was pretty cool to see that. I mean, you don't see that that often. And then in the second game, Washington loser nine to four over the Houston Astros. The Dodgers beating up on the New York Mets eleven to two. The Toronto Blue Jays a loser to the Tampa Bay Rays three to two. And for the help of us, the New York Yankees beat the Minnesota Twins six to four. Beat the Twinkies. And Rivera gets a save. Now today is Friday. And we always talk, look at the standings. In the AL Central, the Detroit Tigers are 46 and 38 in first place. In second, it's the Chicago White Sox. They're 44 and 41 with two and a half games back of the Detroit Tigers. In third place, it's the Minnesota Twins. They're, they're at an even 543 and 43, four games back of the Detroit Tigers. Kansas City is 37 and 48. They're nine and a half back of the Detroit Tigers. And in last place, who we're playing this weekend, the Cleveland Indians are four, 34 and 52, 13 games behind the Detroit Tigers. I feel a grip. You feel it? You feel it, Tiger fans? You feel it? I can feel it. It's a broom. So we're going to sweep the tribe. Last night, went to the corner of Washington and Huron to watch a ball game. Mudhens taking on Louisville Bats. It was pathetic. The first three innings of baseball. Especially that first inning. Oh. Pitching. It's terrible. And lousy defense. But in the eighth inning, the Mutt Hens came back, roared back, and it's it was still not enough. They lost yesterday five to three in twelve innings. When extras. Clay Rapata gets the loss, he goes to one and two with three point one six ERA. Mr. Burton for the Louisville Riverbats. 
proves to 1 0 with a 2.08 ERA. And Viola gets a seventh save. Let's see. It was a good game, but still, it's. We're going to go over the IL West right now. Hold on to your hats. This is. You might want to check this out. In the International League West Division, Louisville leads the division 48 and 39. In second place is Indianapolis, who we played this weekend. Three-game homestand, so go down to fifth third if you want to go watch it. Some baseball. Indianapolis is 40 and 46. Seven and a half back of the bats. Toledo. 38 and 47. Nine games back of the bats. Last place, just like the just like the big league club, the Columbus Clippers, the Triple A Farm Club of the Cleveland Indians. Last place, 38 and 49. Ten games back of the bats. I want your opinion on this. This is this is. Ridiculous. We are one loss away and a, and a Columbus win from being in last place again. It's unbelievable. We, we had a sellout last night at the ballpark. Because everybody wants to come see SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Everybody was in SpongeBob mood. I was more interested in the baseball game. And I, I, I'm going to say it right now before I get to my next piece. If you're a parent of a kid, watch your kids. Because I, I'm at the ballpark yesterday and the kids are screaming and hooting and hollering. And I'm trying to watch the ball game. Give me a break. It's, it's annoying when I'm in church and I'm praying to God. And the baby's crying. It's annoying. But screaming and hooting and hollering at a ball game because they're losing. There's no need for it. And since it is Friday, it's time to go over the mutton batting averages. Now, I followed it last night. Best batting average Scott Sizemore. 298 average. Now, that's a good average. Two home runs and eight ribbies. Ain't bad. Playing small ball. Jeff Flair is just a batting a 289 average with three home runs and 16 ribbies. And Brett DeLugic, the all-star, the alone representative of the Mudhens in the International League team, 274, nine home runs, 40 ribbies. The worst. We'll go from third worst to the worst. Jeff Frazier, 242. Two homers, 18 ribbies. But he strikes out 32 times. Max St. Pierre, 210. He had a home run last night. His second home run, eight ribbies. And the worst, Mike Kessler, 183 average. Ten home runs, 39 RBIs. Here's your release. You should have it. Release that. Release that, man. I'm, I'm sick of it. Remember, there will be no show this weekend. There will be a show on Sun. There might be a show on Sunday. There will be definitely a show on Monday. Remember, I am Andrew Alford, and I hope you had an excellent day. Uh, I hope you have a good weekend. And I remember, and um, at the ballpark now, they have Toledo Walleye Pocket scheduled. Pick yourself up one and pick up some preseason tickets. It'd be a good. It's a good plug. Remember, I'm Andrew Alford, and I hope you have a good weekend. And remember, as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. And especially to the teams up there, victory is sweet when you have tasted defeat. Have a nice weekend, everybody. God bless you.